Okay, hello everyone who is interested in for real learning Facebook ads. To anyone new to this series, the idea of this series is I am learning Facebook ads from the very beginning and I intend on becoming advanced at it. I have the, the budget to spend. You need to spend money to learn advertising. I have that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep spending and trying Facebook until I freaking get it and I'm able to uh, profit on it. I, you know, I, this should be a pretty good series if you stick with it. So what I'm going to show you today is uh, some new things I've learned about targeting. And I'm also going to show you some things I've learned about product selection. Um, I want to start with product selection first. Like, I want to tell you two possible, like, I want to tell you what seems like a really good idea for, for products, but then I want to tell you a different strategy that I think is actually more appropriate for long-term success. So I got this idea, right, that I could sell, that I could think of products that were going to be released soon. I think this is a really easy example to understand. Like, for example, this ASICS um, company, they release like the new version of their shoe, like every year, so it's like the 19, the 20. So see this product, it has like a release date, like, and people look forward to it. And when it's out, they buy it. Like, it's not like necessarily that someone is, you know, every, every time the ASIC shoe is released, they're like, I get the new one. Or, you know, there's probably some people like that. But some people are like, you know, I'm in the market for a new pair of shoes. Uh, I like that ASICS brand. Currently, they've got the 19 version out, but the 20 version's coming out. I think I'll just wait to that. But as soon as it's out, I'm going to get it. Things like that. But there's also other things that work like this. Like, upcoming Nintendo Switch games. Okay? It's like, the game is coming out on a specific date. So you can think all through the world of whatever your niche is. Um, and there are products that have release dates, like, and, and there's fans who are looking forward to that release date. So the idea I had was, okay, you would, uh, you would go into audience like this, right? And you'd be like, oh, you know, Nintendo Switch. Okay. And then you'd be like, yeah, man... And then you you could you could think like oh is it um you know who who's my buyers here like is it is it a uh, married married man is it older man you you really don't know like that that that's one important thing that you you need to come to terms with like you don't know like you might think you know it's like oh well definitely people who are like twenty five to thirty five because that's like uh the people that age who play video games or something right it's like you know reasoning like that has holds no water in this game. It's like facts or facts or go home. Um, so, you know, you can research it and whatever you, you, you would have to do some like complicated research to figure it out. But like, you would have to accept that you don't really know unless you want to go and do a whole bunch of research, but you just go, Oh man, you know, whatever, because it's all in the investigation stage at the moment. So it doesn't matter. You know, you're only going to spend five or $10 to practice. But what you do is you'd go, I, uh, get down here. Something like that. Um, and then you could just confirm that your uh, audience is appropriate, like by going to likes, because if you type something in broad, you could get casuals, but you just gotta look here and go, okay, people are interested in Legend of Zelda, good. See, what I like to do, I think is a good way to eliminate casuals is you start with something completely broad like Nintendo Switch, and then you go to the top categories. And you just choose three of these, thing, these things that are more specific. And then you like, so you go, okay, Legend of Zelda, Super Smash Brothers, and you could choose Funimation. Um, Funimation, I mean, they, oh, but they do cartoons as well. So, you know, you could, you could go Legend of Zelda and Super Smash Brothers, right? So you cross out Nintendo Switch, then you go... The Legend of Zelda? The Legend of Zelda. See, this is more hardcore fans. Like, it's it's more intense. It's more fanship. More of a gamer if you like The Legend of Zelda than if you like Nintendo Switch. Right? This is an important principle. Uh, and then you go, okay, Super Smash Brothers. So, you know, these are the these are the people that like the the classic Nintendo games. 
and then you could go, all right, what else have we got here? You look for another one, Dragon Age, Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Like, if you chose Mortal Kombat, man, you'd have some fans there, wouldn't you? Um, but even if you just went, again, Zelda Universe. Can't get that one. Right, um, Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls could be a good one. You could put Elder Scrolls. I mean, that's not on every platform. But still, oh, what do you type? Elder Scrolls. I mean, it's it's on. It, I mean, it is on every platform. That's what I mean. It's not only Nintendo. But still, at least you got gamers, right? So you've really got games. That's for sure. No doubt about that. Like these people are way likely to like this stuff. So you've definitely got some gamers there. And I think it's better than choosing just Nintendo because that's pretty cash. Pretty casual. I would probably delete this one, the Elder Scrolls, and I would just keep Super Smash Brothers and The Legend of Zelda. Now I'm guaranteed to have, like, Nintendo game fans. Okay. So, then what I would do with them is uh, a week before some particular game comes out, and if it was, like, you know, say, say the game was, like, Wolfenstein or something like that, I would even be more of a sp specific, right? Like, Wolfenstein? Just, just like that, Wolfenstein? Like say Wolfenstein was coming out in a in a in a uh, in a in a week or something like that. I, like I don't know if this worked. Like Wolfenstein, like did it work? I mean, this came out recently. Return of Castle Wolfenstein. I don't know, but you get the idea. Whatever. I'd, you'd have to verify this. Return of Castle Wolfenstein. And say say a new new Wolfenstein game was coming out in a, in a week, right? So what you do is you run an ad. And the reason it would be good to include these return, like other things here, just just say you're targeting specifically the Nintendo Switch version of Return of Castle Wolfenstein. The reason you put these other ones as well is it's not just people who are interested in like this is one game, they're gamers, right? They're it's like people are interested in like games. Look, on, to be honest, like I'm kind of backtracking as I say it. Like say Return of Ca say Castle, say you wanted to do Wolfenstein. Honestly, you'd probably just do Wolfenstein. Well. Let, let, let's let's be honest. I mean, I was going going down a path there, but like, just say a Wolfenstein game was coming out, you just choose Wolfenstein, right? Just like that, Wolfenstein. So, what you're gonna do is like a week before, you know, and you'd put all the Wolfenstein things there, right? You know, you saw there was like a bunch that came up. Like, I don't know what this is. 2009 video game. So let's get our whole audience that likes Wolfenstein, right? Wolfenstein 3D. Uh, Wolfenstein. I don't know, just Wolfenstein, does that work? Doesn't do anything. Okay. Like, what do we get here? Anyway, got a whole bunch of Wolfenstein stuff, right? So these are the people who are going to be interested in buying the new Wolfenstein game. So a week before it comes out, you run an ad and says one. You say one week until Wolfenstein comes out, and it's like that you put the trailer of Wolfenstein, right? And then there's a whole bunch of people who watch the whole video, or they watch 45 seconds of it, or 90 seconds, or some amount of the video. Okay, the day that it comes out, you run an ad to the people who watch that, and you say it just got released. Here's the link to it. Simple. Okay, so that sounds really good because it's like, oh, you know, it's like a, this strategy, it's like this complex strategy where you get this like very precise interest and then you target at the right time. That's cool. However, what I realized after that was that like that's some um, that's a that's a magic trick. And you, when you're learning the shit, you don't just want to be good at the magic tricks, right? You want you want to be able to do it completely basically with like completely stock standard products that can run evergreen and you can just do a campaign and make it profitable with a simple product. If you need like this special magic trick, that's cool. And I mean, if you want to do the special magic trick, that's cool. You can do it as like an extra thing, but we got to learn the basics, right? So that's where I was like, okay, screw this. I'm not going to do this yet. I'll do this later for new release products and stuff, but we need to learn the basics first. So Amazon best sellers. So these are products here that are guaranteed to be sellers. They are the best sellers on Amazon. And the reason I think it's really good to start with these is if you can't, this is just theory by the way, 
if you can't sell these products, these basic products that are best sellers on Amazon, if you if you just can't do them, like what chance do you have? So it's it's pretty good to just like okay, let's start with this basic, you know, training ground. We're gonna choose a really basic, simple training ground that isn't that complicated. We're gonna start with guaranteed products that people people buy all the time, um, that are popular year round all the time, and we're gonna try and sell them. So it's given that my niche is sports and outdoors, okay. There, there's a few cool things here, and then you, I was like sports and fitness. And then I saw, okay, well, what, what's just something pretty precise? And I ended up going with yoga, but you know, you can go with it, whatever you want. Just choose, go back here to any department, choose your niche, whatever it is, go into it, get some stock standard, stock standard product, right? Now, sports and fitness. Now, what, like, how did I make the decision about what product I should sell? Okay, well, I made it with the, the long term in mind. And I don't know if this is completely true, um, but Evan Pagan, who in my opinion is the best marketing teacher in the world, said that you should go for the beginners, like go for the people who are just entering the niche. Right? And what I wanna do is I, I wanna you know, have a full on community that like gets people into the niche and then takes them far within the niche. I'm not just going for people who are like deep into something already and they're already good at it. No, I want to take people who are just like doing nothing, right? They're kind of like interested in it. I want to deus ex machina them, just come along, lift them up out of their life without movement and fitness and drop them into it and, you know, rewrite rewrite their lives. Um it's funny, I was watching a training on something else and the lady was like, you don't worry about what, you don't have any emotional attachment to what you're selling. <laughs> like, you're here to make money and run a business. That's all. I'm like, chill out, lady. <laughs> like, choose a niche that you're passionate in so that you actually want to do it. You can you can succeed in any niche, okay? There's no niches where it's not possible to succeed in. So choose one that you're passionate about and you enjoy. And just do some lifeless bullshit just because you think that it's more profitable. They're all profitable. All the niches are profitable. If you're at the top of any niche, you're going to be rich. You're going to be profitable. Okay. So, I chose yoga. And because I was like, okay, what is the beginner yoga product? Okay. I was like, wow, Jesus. It's, it's a mat. <laughs> the first thing you buy if you want to do yoga is a mat. And... There might be something here. There might be a yoga product that will sell better. But if I can't sell a yoga mat, if I can't sell a yoga mat, then I, 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 I'm going to fail. Like, I need the skill to be able to sell a yoga mat on Facebook, even if it's more difficult. Like, don't go for, like, low-hanging fruit. No, remember, you need to spend money and practice and learn. That's the mentality I'm trying to embed into you, right? So, choose something that's totally basic. Okay, that's drilled in, right? So I chose a yoga mat. And what I did was I uh, went to my lovely uh, Shopify thing. So the next step is like choose a product, right? And then you log into your Shopify. Just like that. Man, these cookie things. Okay, blah, blah, blah. And then you go into your app apps. Now, if you don't have this spreader app, you need to get that. I think it's $5 a month on top of the $27 a month or whatever for Shopify. And you need to get that. Because when you get that, then you can um, find the the item that you want to do. Alright, so I should go niche down to yoga mats. And I actually chose this one, right? Because I just thought, like, you know, these ones don't seem very appealing. Whereas this seems appealing. I know these are good sellers, but you know, I actually want to catch people's attention. I just have a feeling that this one might do better. Just, just a feeling. Like, it's, sometimes you just have to go with your gut. Um, and, you know, the sales page is really nice. So that's going to give good content. And I also went with that one because, as you can see here, the sale amount can be up to $117. Like, some of these are not like that. Up to, up to 21 So I left the potential for higher 
and the the reason is because they can customize the size of the map so they can order a really big one okay so pretty cool right so all you do to put this in your store is copy that uh, go over to your spreader app paste the link and I you know I've already pasted it so you paste it and then obviously it's gonna go here click view you can see it in your store like boom right boom yeah I mean I don't know why it came up $32 there like I'm not sure why it didn't come up 23 I don't really know that you know who knows we'll get better with that get better at that with time so nice page here and that's created right so if they click here it comes through to there and you know maybe it's even better that it says like 32 because then they're like whoa 24 that's even better uh, I believe I chosen a prime one like is this prime I don't know try prime I mean I don't have prime I'm not logged in or something like that um, but I'd say yeah yeah this item is reserved for prime members I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing okay so you've got this item right so then you've said okay I'm gonna sell this item <laughs> so then you're like all right well who am I gonna sell that to well let's scrap all this that's a cool idea that's worth trying by the way like if you have budget to try that definitely try that new release strategy so let's go with uh, women I was thinking like women 25 to 44 women and then I was thinking okay well who can you target there's, there's a bunch of different ways you can target this like you could target it by the brand Guyam so you could where is it you could go here and you could type Guyam see that'd be a good idea you, you could type yoga but that's pretty broad right so you, you never know right like it's there's so many different ways you could do the targeting um it's just you don't know yet um you could use the method where you choose a brand you could use the method where you choose okay i want to target people who buy from an online store you could choose just ones where they're really really fans of it but until we uh have split tested that we're, we're not gonna know so let me just try this again i'm not sure why it's been spaz guy arm okay here we go guy arm local business right 90 to 100k and then you check the affinity and you can see that these people are super into like yoga and stuff right see see um if he shows yoga outlet that'd be a pretty cool thing but it's only 10k people it's pretty cool like that you can see how many people like these things So yeah, there'll be more targeting on to come, but uh, let, let me show you another thing that I thought about targeting, right? So you can look at this demographics thing, right? And you see that um, we might even like erase ages, right? So we'll change it to 18 and 40, 65 plus, and then we can actually see, yeah, this actually was a pretty good um, attempt at getting people who at least are interested in it. Now, this doesn't tell you which group is gonna buy. Don't don't think that just because you've got the people who are interested in yoga that you've got the buyers of yoga mats. Who knows? I mean, you would have to, you really gotta figure that stuff out because that, that information, that is like the, the secret sauce. You, you could probably go find it out. It's, you could do some more research and find it out, but um, the real way to find it out the real, real way to find it out is to, to, to create two separate targetings. One where you take target this age group, one where you take target this age group, and you just see which one does better. And that's all there is to it. So I've been at least uh, playing around with this idea. Like, what if what if I can make it that the, uh, the overall group that I'm targeting is just a bit better just by choosing the people that are interested in more? I'm not sure if that's true. See? See, what if I chose, like, married people, uh... What is this? More likely to be than the rest of Facebook? I don't know, but what if I chose married 
See, what if I went back here, change my ages to just be in line with what it's kind of like suggesting. So I went with the 25 to um, 44. Okay, and what if I was like, okay, so these people are like married, college, why don't I choose married, college? Like, I don't know if that's actually going to be a good thing, but you go down to this advanced tab here, and you can like look at their education. So if I choose married and college, okay, basically what I'm looking for to actually verify that that was of any use, like short of, um, short of, say, mm, mm, actually running the ads and getting conversions and seeing which one performs better, is I could look at ads clicked and I could look at um, their affinity. Right? Their affinity down here. And I could see, like, when I put this stuff on, does it make things seem better or worse, right? So... You know, we got this like, don't worry about that one, but we got like a 964443, 964443, right? So, and then we got um, 44. So we got 964443 and a, and a 44. So if I take off married and take off college, 964443, right? Like there are, like this one's higher, but remember it's 964443. So the infinity decreases by not choosing these. And let's check a look at the activity. This one's stayed about the same. So I reckon just based on the, the affinity, like it seems that I'm getting people who are at least more interested in the topic. I mean, put it this way, not more interested, but that each person on the list is on average more likely to be interested in like like properly interested in it so i reckon might as well put it on it seems like a good idea to me it will of course need to be verified uh you can choose other things here but i haven't really looked into them like you can you can even choose like this like <laughs> it's quite funny because uh uh it's very revealing because you choose liberal and <laughs> very liberal and you see that they hardly click ads and then you choose very conservative and are conservative and they click ads and it's like ha 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 <laughs> you know it just goes to show that uh, liberals <laughs> are more likely to be non-taxpayers non 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 job owners non-profit creators you know like if you don't click ads and buy stuff that's pretty in indicative of your um um what's going on with your uh career and um tax paying so I don't like socialism, just in case you're wondering why I went on that rant. Uh, okay, so there you go, right? So there's a whole bunch of reasoning. You, don't, you know, I don't, I don't want to just tell you like basics things about like, oh, you know, choose this because of this and this because of this and then you'll be fine. No, I really want you to understand at like a high level um, this stuff. Not that I'm saying what I'm teaching you right now is a high level, but like your understanding needs to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. So it's better to have a lot of understanding. Okay, so what I've discovered is that if you click create ad here, it's like a mess or something. Like it's just, it just became a mess. Like, let me just check something. Add create tool, let me, let me check something. Yeah, maybe. I, I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but like, Last time I went, I chose to do it from there. Maybe it's okay. So basically, you know, you go create campaign, blah, blah, blah. I'm just, okay, so I'll, I'll give you the tutorial, even though this is pretty obvious. So, okay, there's two options you've got, right? You could run an ad directly to these people, or you can run like a, an engagement thing and then retarget the people that engage. For example, a video, you could retarget the people who watch 15 or 30 seconds of the video. So let's just start off with engagement and just go blah 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 engagement and I usually go like a yoga mat um, engagement like that and then you get here and you'll see that like oh yeah it actually kept the targeting so yeah what I did before do that I was like mm, I'm not sure if this is good so US 25 to 44 women guy um right and then you can go college married. This is, you can write as much as you want. 
and then you've got all the targeting um, and that should be everything you need and then you know, I, I think it's good to just go with a $5 budget. Like if you don't know what you're doing, you're just throwing it down the toilet and you're not gonna get any extra learnings if you spend 10 versus five. So there's no need to not be frugal. Set a start and end date. Um, just set it, um, you know, in the in advance, like a, a day a day in advance. You know, Facebook's like, run it for a month, bro. Like, <laughs> totally. Um, there we go. I You can guarantee that it'll work by going like that. Okay, I just go continue, and then it gives you a shitty ad name. So, um, you know, if like, then you're like, okay, well, what content am I gonna use? All right. So, I, I think a video is pretty good. Like, a, I've started to think about an image or something. I don't know. Maybe I could do like a carousel. I don't know, but like, I, I think the video one makes a makes a lot of sense. So like, I'll investigate the other ones, but I just can't figure out how to make a primer audience apart from video so if anyone knows comment in the comment section but you know you got to get some content right so you're like okay well youtube and i was like okay guy um yoga matt okay so you get these like videos right um How did I find the one I got before? I think you just, did I just go guy arm? Yeah, right? So I just type guy arm. And see, what I'm trying to do here is not just, uh, you know, I have two objectives here. One is to make money, but second is like, I actually want to get people to take the first step on the journey towards getting their body active and physical and performing well. So, I actually started to see these videos, I was like, oh, these ones look okay. Um, and there was like a uh, your guy, um, anyway, I did a bunch of searching and you just you just got to decide which one you think is good. But I, f I went with this, oh yeah, there it is, it's right in front of me, right? The one I ultimately went with was this one, because this one looks pretty cool. He's saying your hip joints are the most important parts of your body, right? So, I was like, okay, that, 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 how about that video? Let's run that. So, let's, you know, download this video, run it to the people um, on, as an ad, and then the people who watch a certain amount of that, then retarget them and offer them to check out the guy arm yoga mat. Right, and... I also just want to show you something. Um, let me just pause for a second. Uh, yeah. So this is the text that I wrote. This is the text that I wrote in one paragraph. This is not, and I also spelt this wrong, but I fixed it, so don't worry. Um, so, you know, I can give you a little lesson on copywriting here, right? So, Guy Arms Rodney Yee. So, it's like, whoa, Guy Arms Rodney Yee. Like, it's just instant credibility. It's like, whoa, it's Guy Arms Rodney Yee. With his well-known, right, hip opener routine. And then, you know, I put some valuable information, and this is um, some information that I've learned. Did you know that you must open your hips before any other part of your body can release correctly? This routine is super important for your entire body. So, there you go. Um, I think the most important things that you wanna try to do are, one, make your advertising valuable. So that's why I gave this tip that not many people know. Most people are like, yeah, bro, I got a sore shoulder. I'm gonna like stretch that shoulder and stuff and it's like, Meanwhile, the hips are all screwed up already, so it's like, the, the hips aren't working. Yeah, good luck with your shoulder, that's great. Um, so I gave a pretty good counterintuitive tip that not many people know about, and uh, gave some credibility and social proof to this guy, and definitely uh, some amount of people who like Guy um, Yoga are gonna, gonna watch this, and then we can retarget those people. Um, so I think that's uh, the extent of what I learned today. I mean, I went through a lot of 
back and forth figuring you know different stuff out but the main lessons that you need to take away are you need to choose a product that is a basic simple product not some flash in the pan thing not some like oh it's growing popular and not not a release date thing those are all cool but if you can't sell a basic product if you can't sell a best seller on Amazon that's totally basic then you, you're not gonna you're not gonna have like a consistency and like a, a definite ability to sell anything like if you can sell the basic thing you can probably do the cool flash sale kind of thing as well but uh, I wouldn't say the reverse is necessarily true Okay, so I think I can uh, give you also um, a look at how my campaign from yesterday did. So let's go to Ads Manager. Let's just leave this, doesn't matter. Hurry up. Um, yeah, right, so I ran, see the first ad I ran, I don't know if I already talked about this one, like I ran this, um, Maybe I already talked about this. Anyway, I, I ran this like beautiful Floyd Mayweather video and got 11 likes for five euros. But then I ran campaigns, page likes. I think I already talked about this, but it's worth just mentioning again. But then I ran just this basic ad here. I, you know what I can't do? I can't figure out how to view the ad. I'm like, view ad. L let me let me see it. Like I, I'm like, come on, where is it? Like show me the ad. I just don't know how to do it. If anyone knows how, god damn it, tell me. But like I can't figure it out. Like show, is it like this preview? Yes, okay, yes. <laughs> right. So I run this. Okay. It's like just a random image, and I got uh, a, and a bit of text. Right. Like no comments at all. Uh, but I got 19 percent per. Uh, per like and why did I get 19 cents per like well I bet it's because of the targeting because the targeting was way better this one was like really hyper boxing oriented stuff whereas the other targeting oh look at this relevance score oh what's this relevance score mm. relevance score damn what <laughs> I wonder what that means I mean obviously you want to get a high relevance score like if you don't get a relevant score of 10 it's probably a bad thing i mean you can probably get the same information just from this but um yeah relevance score like I, I wonder if like there's a correlation between relevance score and cost per result so we can go back and check that mm, where is it at it's probably in this so if i go into this and look at this relevance score mm, um, this is probably so, so poor performing because it was so untargeted that it didn't even get enough impressions to get a relevant score. So we'll be checking on that more in the future, like the relevant score, but I'd say that's something pretty important to, um, to look at. What was this? Like, I don't know what this is. Let's have a look. What is this? I don't know. I, I must have ran something, but then turned it off. Like, I'm not really sure. What was this targeting? I got a bit confused. Oh yeah, that's where I set up the proper targeting, but then I ran it to the wrong people. Budget, five euros. So that's cool. I can actually run that again at some point and see how it goes. And then I can run that Fla Floyd Mayweather video to an actual, to, to the same audience that liked that image that I showed you before, right? So yeah, it, it's all about, it's all about getting in there and understanding like, um, what, um, how the choices you make can influence the results you get. Like, it, to conclude, like, that would be my concluding statement. It's all about understanding how the choices you make influence the results that you get. It's not about, in the beginning, making a sale. Forget about that. Like, if you care, really, about making a sale before you've spent $5,000, your, your mind's in the wrong place. And it's, you're, you're going to be in scarcity. Like, if, if you're not willing to just, like drop five thousand dollars down the toilet and kiss that money goodbye right just to learn what this what this is all about and how to do it you're going to have a harder time than someone who is willing to do that because that person has the right mindset
if you're like, no, 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 I've only got 5,000 and I, I need this to work before the 5,000 is gone. It's like, you're going to make all the wrong choices because you're, you're not going to be in a learning mindset. If you're in a, if you're in an outcome mindset and not a performance uh, and not a process mindset, like if you're outcome oriented instead of process oriented, get, get your head right. Let's get process oriented. Let's spend money and learn this thing. Okay, that's that's all for today. All right, all right, all right. See you soon. Have a good day. Um, by the way, I guess just before that I make this video, and this video I'll I'll just mention, uh, like the reason I'm making these videos is a is a few few reasons. One is to uh, improve my own learning because when one teaches, to learn. So I become better at this by teaching it. The second one is because I think it's pretty awesome to just provide value to people like this, like teach them and see other people learn good information. It's just cool. Um, um, but the third reason is like I, I hope to eventually become really good at this and then there'll be like a track record and proof that I'm actually good at it. Because most of the... Uh, uh, let me do your Facebook ads, bro, is just people selling it, right? But I want, and it's like no no proof whether they can actually get results or not. Uh, but like one day, it could be totally possible that a massive corporation could hire me. Someone with like millions and millions and millions of budget to spend if I have like actual proof that I'm good. So I'm hoping to, as I get better and better and better, uh, get higher and higher quality clients. Um probably within the niche that I'm interested in. Um, and along the way, have the proof all the way. Like, here's the proof. Here is the proof um, of my my ability. Um, and the, the, the final reason, I would say, is like, I kind of think it's cool to have like a transparent business these days. Like, uh, most marketing businesses, but definitely the businesses I've been involved in before, are non-transparent. Like, uh, companies don't want you to know what's going on behind the scenes. It's like, uh, I don't, like, don't feel a need to not be transparent. I don't feel a need to hide stuff. Um, I think it's kind of actually cool to um, run a business in a transparent way. It's just, just cool. <laughs> it's just like, let me show you how I'm running the business and what the choices I'm making are. Um, I think it uh, forces you to have more integrity and it, it could potentially create a culture shift. I'm not sure about that. Um, but, you know, like in the whole world, in companies and corporations, there's not much transparency. You know, it's like a, you know, sneaky profit grab behind the scenes and not caring about the customers, not caring about the social impact. Um, and I think in the future, it's quite possible, like, like a long time from now, like we're definitely on a, a trajectory toward more and more transparency. It's possible that in the long term future, there could be total transparency, like an, as an expectation of a company. Um, so I'm just uh, getting ahead of the curve in a way from my perspective. Okay, see you next time.